Hi everyone. This is the fifth video in the Apache Spark Quick Tips and Tricks playlist. In this video, we are going to see equality test operator that is used to handle the null values safely. Usually, when you use equality operation or join operation, null values will be ignored. There may be a scenario where you need to preserve the null values during these join conditions or equality check. Let's jump into a demo to see how to use that with the help of equality null save operator. I have already initialized the Spark session in my local and here I am creating a sample data frame with the ID and value columns. In value we have none and let's see how this none is ignored while using normal equality operator and how none is preserved when you are using equality null safe method to use. So in, sec the in second statement we are using equality operator to compare the value column with a string foo. But if you see here when you compare value directly with foo when it matches with foo it gives true but when it matches with null it gives you null it needs to give false at the same time when we are using equality null safe operator when it actually matches with the string it returns true when it doesn't matches either if it sees null or any other values it returns false the same applicable when you are doing to check whether it the column is present and equal to none so if it is equal to none the null values will be returned true and actual string values returned false so here you can see the advantage of equality null safe operator when you want to compare none also then you have to consider using equality null safe operator we will see one more example with the nan in python because nan many will think it is null but unlike pandas pyspark doesn't consider this as null value. So if you see here we have a data frame with id and value. In value we have the first row as nan and second row float value and third row as null. When I am comparing it with none it gives me false in place of nan and in place of 42 as expected it is false and it returns true in, in case of null. Similarly when you are checking with nan the column with the value nan returns true and as expected remaining two columns returns false. Similarly for float only the second row returns true because remaining two rows one is nan and another row is null. Let's now see how this helps in during join condition. Now we have two data frames one with id and value and the second data frame with value in both data frame we have null in second row. Now we are going to join using equality operator and also e using equality null safe operator and you can see using equality null safe operator the null rows will be preserved and when using normal equality operator you can see no matches when you are joining using the value column as expected when you are joining through value column we don't have foo matching here but we have null row matching but in case of equality operator you won't get this null record you will be losing it but if you want to consider also this null scenarios in your conditions then you need to go with equality null save operator as you can see here null rows are preserved while in join condition to see another example i have two data frames again one row one data frame with employee id and name and age and another data frame with employee id and value here we are going to join this employee id column which has two null values and two valid records with the another data frame which has two null rows and one valid record when i am joining with normal equality operator you can see this row is getting ignored when you you can see that when it happens in a join it just matches with the employee id 2 but in case of equality null safe operator here it, you have to note it is not 
happening uh, it is there is no outer join has is happening here here it is in inner join you can see null records are preserved thank you for watching if you like this video please like share and subscribe to tech island